Welcome back, everyone. This is Super Kelly Brothers Podcast, episode 95. My name is Sloan Kelly. My name is Jody Kelly. Uh, before we begin, we always uh, like to remind you to smash that like button. And uh, if you haven't already uh, and you want timely reminders when these uh, these podcasts here go up, then uh, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and you will get timely reminders from the YouTubes, uh, where we also are. So if you're listening in audio, uh, you can see our beautiful darling faces uh, on on the YouTubes. And if you're listening, uh, if you're watching this um, and you want to listen to it in the car, we also have an audio feed as well. If you go to supergellybros.com, you'll find our audio feed there and you can get it on iTunes, and Stitcher and Spotify and all these other places. All the good stuff. All the good stuff. Um, so uh, it's been a while. Um, yeah. We should pro- I, should probably, what, I should probably explain, explain myself. Uh, I won't go into huge big way, details. Mm-hmm. It's not a very good reason to skip a podcast. But anyway. No, no, it isn't. It, in fact, it's it's the worst reason ever. It was it was, it was a self inflicted wound. Um, you, what you could say, what show business people say, is um, tired and emotional. You, you were uh, exhaustion. Yeah. So apparently, it, so according to, I, I can't remember what it was, but um, the, the, uh, Private Eye called people who are um, <clears throat> blind drunk, uh, tired and emotional, because apparently apparently if you say someone's drunk, it's libelous. All right. Well, in this case, it'd be slander, because we're talking about it. So you, yeah. can't say, you can't say I was drunk, but you can say I was tired and emotional, which is code what's, for drunk. What's defamation then? Uh, defamation is something. Do you, do you want against to your character. Up? It's against your character. I think it might be. Yeah, defamation. Yeah, of maybe character. defamation of character. Defamation harming another person's reputation. Reputation. Yeah. Yeah. So you can, if you say, you know, see that guy, Jake, who does the Wendy's, he's garbage. By oh. the way, don't get him in there because he just smears guano all over the windows. That's defamation. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, windows are dirtier than. You know, windows are dirty when he started. <laughs> yeah, when he leaves. By the way, if you're out there and you call Jake, you do windows. Uh, I apologize. This is not about I, you. It's not it's about slow. you because it's about me. Uh, so anyway, I was, I was, I was extremely Sunday. tired and emotional on Sunday. Past, extremely there. exhausted. I was exhausted. Yes. So, um, when, when when rock stars uh, cancel gigs, not that I'm comparing you to a rock star, by the way. <laughs> Thank God for uh, that. Yeah. The confusion say, people would get. We're, we're sorry, we're having to cancel because um, uh, because of ex- extreme exhaustion. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Especially uh, when they're like 22. How can you be exhausted at 22? Uh, do you, know, you not see young, the BTS? The, bands and all that. the K-pop bands, do you not see them falling over? Like they're on stage falling, and all this. And just falling go, over? Yeah, they fall over. I suppose they do. I suppose they do long hours, right enough, you know. They do. But it, so I was thinking about this the other day. There, so you see, you see in magazines they've got all the kind of glamour shots of all the, the sort of boy bands and the girl bands and all that kind of stuff. Where yeah. do they find time to do all that and record music? I mean, it, they just must basically just be like shunted from like recording studio to photography studio and back again, constantly. And then they're, they're shooting videos, and then they're doing this, and then they're doing that, and it's some charity event. It must, be, it must be quite they, a tough gig. That's when they get um, the drugs kick in. Remember that Judy Garland movie? Did you watch that, Judy? <laughs> Judy. Judy. Quite, with uh, with uh, <laughs> Renee's... Talking about rock stars. She was a rock star. She, but no, she was, she was, a, she was a, a musical. Child, she was a child star, right? Mm. And she was basically, you know, exhausted, right? Yeah. L- literally because of exactly what you're talking about. She's pushed from doing shows mm-hmm. and doing movies and doing appearances and stuff so she her management decided to give her like you know speed or uppers you know things Mm -hmm. to things to keep her awake Mm -hmm. and uh you know then she got addicted to them yeah then she became a a complete mess you know Mm -hmm. um so just watch it's a a slippery slope is all i'm saying (laughs) okay (laughs) Okay. well not for me Cause that's it. I'm like, that's it. it. I'm off it. That's it. 
that's me. So uh, yeah, I I'm I'm on the the old uh, coffee. Aye, um, good for you. And and water, obviously. Drink plenty of water, kids. Don't drink eight glasses of water a day for this you know garbage. What I was watching. I mean, keep yourself it's, hydrated. This is a bit of a segue into what I've, what I've been watching this week, but I wish I had been told to, you know, because things aren't really that obvious to me, you know, and give me the reasons why you should be doing things as well. You told me the endings of horror a, stories, or what? No, no. When I was a kid, I probably wouldn't have um, hmm. uh, sort of went by these guidelines, but. Drink water, you know. Eat your eat your greens. Eat your greens. To be honest, see that that uh, eight, drink eight exercise a day is not a good thing. You drink when you're thirsty. You're brown. Well, it's not a good idea. Don't drink eight glasses of water a day. Drink when you're thirsty. Yeah. If you're not thirsty, don't drink. The 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 is it a, Jap, a Chinese philosopher or somebody said? Um, Here we go. When you're, eat when you're tired. <laughs> Sleep for well, your Thursday, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. go to the uh, bathroom when you need a uh, when you need uh, a person. Something like that, isn't it? Oh, something like that, yeah. Well, it's eat when you're hungry. <laughs> eat when you're hungry. I'll start again. I'll come in again. Drink when you're eat tired. When you're, drink when you're tired. <laughs> Sleep when you're thirsty, and eat when you're hungry. <laughs> something like that. Yeah. And yeah. never, and never put two fingers in a warm bowl. Pardon. Is that a euphemism? No, it's when somebody's sleeping, they're passed out drunk, you put two fingers in a bowl and then is things that happen. That I don't myth? know. I've never tried it. I've never tried it. Because I'm not four. Teen- anyway, yeah. I'm not a teenager. Yeah. So, and even when I was a teenager, I never tried it. So I don't know. No. Neither did I. So, we were going yeah. to, I, think we th- I think we did try that. I think did you did. We? I think you were just. I, I think you were probably sleeping when we did it. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I didn't try it. <laughs> you probably sleep when we did it. Swing. So, anyways, that's the reason why this is fact, it doesn't work. two weeks in the making. In yeah. in that time, uh, luckily, because of COVID nineteen, uh, nothing's happened in the world of show business. <laughs> Well, no, that's not true. We're going to get to the news uh, in a later in a later segment, but for the most part, nothing's uh, nothing's actually transpired. Well, um, well, not hundred percent true. Eh, no. I've got some stuff. Have you? Yeah. All right. Do you want to do you want to talk about uh, what what you've been watching this week or this fortnight? For those of you listening in other parts of the world, that's two weeks. Yeah. Not a video this, game. This could take, take some time. Um, yeah, well, one of the ones was that was kind of leading to there was um, a thing that was Evelyn had chosen, and uh, I was like, oh, my God, I would never have chosen this in a million years. Mm-hmm. And it's called the, the Queen's Gambit, right? And it's about oh, chess. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. And I would have, I would have totally wouldn't buy it. But yeah. um, we watched the first episode of it, and it's really good. And apparently, it's written by um, the novel is, ri- is written by the same guy that wrote um, the Hustler, the Color of Money, and the Man Who Fell not, to Earth. Not to be, not the magazine, the Hustler Sloan. No, 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 no. That's something he wrote the Hustler, the Color of Money, and the Man Who Fell to Earth. Did he write the Man Who Fell to Earth? Well, according to Wikipedia, he did. Yeah. All right, and he did write uh, Queen's Gambit, didn't he? Uh, yes, yes. That's yes. True. Uh, it's a 2020 miniseries, same name, starring Anna Taylor Joy. Yeah. Um, it's set set in the sixties, I believe. Yeah. She's a little kid. She's a a a, a, a natural at, at playing chess, and she can mm-hmm. memorize things. She can. She doesn't need to look at the board when she's playing chess and she uh, people start to take attention you know she she plays down in the basement with the janitor it's dodgy but plays okay. chess um i'm like, I'm like baby he's... yoda when the when 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 i'm playing chess because I, I like make a move then i'm like is this right we used to we used to make we used to play chess yeah we did but not properly though not like oh i mean we knew the rules 
we didn't know we didn't know all this was the 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 Mancunian opening or whatever it was. Candidate, the, yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Manchurian uh, candidate. This is the Manchurian uh, candidate. Oh yes, yeah, uh, so it's a classic. This is the classic mm. Bombay opening. Oh, this is the upside down wonder. Hmm? Hello. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Allow me to counter with my Parisian closer. <laughs> Stuff like that. Right. So yeah, uh, first episode. I'd, very intriguing. Oh, yeah. I'm really enjoying okay. it. Yeah, I've, I've heard so, good stories about it. Uh, to yeah. be honest. I, 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 I was talking to someone else who'd watched it and they said it was fantastic. But like I say, I would have never have went, oh yeah, let's put that on. But no, very intriguing. Uh, we're watching a, a, the new Hugh, it's the new thing from the people who think that made, that produced um, Big Little Lies. The Nicole Kidman Reese Witherspoon thing, mm -hmm. and it's got Nicole Kidman and Hugh Hugh Grant in it. Undoing it's called it's on Sky. Atlantis. I'm assuming it must be HBO over your neck of the woods, maybe. I don't have HBO. Well, no, if you did have I'm it, I'm not paying HBO. another fifteen bucks, whatever it is, a month for another blooming streaming service. No, I know, of course not. Especially um, for stuff I don't watch. Yeah, exactly. So it's um. Intriguing, again, uh, it's a, a young girl gets murdered, they're high, the, the high society couple, um, and she's, the girl that gets murdered is kind of part of the group because she's part of the mums, you know, um, mm -hmm. kind of, you know, how mums kind of get together to do kind of Mum clubs, and things like that. play chess, charity, book charity clubs. Clothing yeah, drives, Avon ladies, Avon ladies, uh, street parties. Uh, what, what are the things the the mums do, Jody? Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> Care for children. Care for children. Yeah. 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 Um, I could go on. But I'm not going to. That's right. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, and it's. Uh, we were just watching the the about half an hour of episode two there, and it gets. Well, we should really we should crazy. explain that that's what movies mums do in movies, not what mums yeah. actually do in real life. Yeah, clean up sick. <laughs> yes. Um, uh, try try and talk your child down. Get from, the get the kid, from a get the kids ready for school while simultaneously also trying to get you ready for work. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Make well, your husband's just oh, sitting your husband's there reading the paper, flicking through. Flicking through, flicking through the, the news, screaming yeah. at the TV. Yeah, that's the reality. Yeah, that is the the actual reality. That Meanwhile, they're in the background. Like, ah. I know men are terrible. Aren't they? Men are awful. Yeah, just not good. Hate them. Not for you. That far. Oh, thanks. I know my friends and the people I work with, and uh, just men I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Apart from the people listening, and apart from the, <laughs> I, do you know, there's, there's, time, a hole? there's times in this podcast. I I hope to God that there's not a psychologist listening in. <laughs> That's what she is in this. Actually, she's a she, she's a psychologist. He's a he's a Brickley. Oh no, he's a, pedi a pediatrician. Pediatrician. Uh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, so. Doctor. Right, I'm gonna. I've got hunters here. Okay, this this could be a two-hour special, but I'm gonna quickly go through them. Uh -huh. uh, Hubie Halloween, another Adam Sandler thing, with all these pals in it. Yeah, wasn't bad. Wasn't too bad. I got uh, one minute into it, and I was like, "Nope." Did did his voice annoy you? Hubie, you voice you, you twin you. That voice, yes. Yeah, but then I, but I don't then like it. Is that voice? But then he's supposed to be a, a little bit, you know. But he's always got these characters that are a little bit, you know, like little Nicky. Um, yeah, what's his face? It's the same voice. The other guy. It's, it Nicky. is. Well, the little Nicky one was more kind of yeah. up with that. Yeah. But Makes it's it the same Adam stuff. Was, was, yeah. Anyway, it's it, it was, it was actually okay. I, I, I didn't mind it at all. And Claire's in it from the uh, family. From yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, Julie Bowen, isn't it? From uh, from Modern Family. Modern Family. She's not in it too much. 
Because uh, she plays the, the quote-unquote love interest in the movie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. The unbelievable love interest. Yes, yes. Unattainable yes. love interest. Yeah. But somehow attainable. By yes. Hubie slash Adam Spoilers. Sandler. Yeah, it's the same. It's the exact same. You could take this. You could take that plot and you can make it about video game characters, and it's probably the exact same movie. In reality, though, the real the real version of that that story, what would happen was he would end up with some sort of um, uh, debilitating court. back problem. <laughs> no, he'd end up with some sort of court uh, injunction against him. Yeah, uh, that she would take out on him for yeah. stalking her. Yeah, because all of them, the entire movie takes place inside his head while he's while he's outside yeah. the window of her house looking in. Yeah. Yeah. Licking the window. Licking the window. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and it all happened because he was fantasizing about about his life together Pumpkins. with her at the very start of the movie, just as he careens into the wing of the car and then flips over the, the, the hood. And yeah. all of the movie is is him flipping over the hood. That's his life. Wow. Like that. Wow, that's deep. There you go. That is Boom. Deep. He's actually... That's actually better than the movie, that premise. Wow. The, the dark version of Who Be Halloween, folks. Yeah. Um, we watched a BBC thing called Normal People. So mm-hmm. it's, uh, is it about normal people? It's, uh, we'd heard about it a while ago. It's, a, it's set in Ireland. It's uh, <clears throat> uh, two teenagers... To begin a relationship, but she's like the kind of cookie weird girl at school that nobody really likes, and he's mm-hmm. the kind of uh, jock, if you are, if you will, for mm-hmm. all you Americans out there. Uh, and um, sports, yeah, and they get together, but he doesn't really want any of his friends to know that they've co- hooked up, right? Mm-hmm. And they just have this, it's the kind of coming of age to go to university, they split away, you know, the part their ways and get back together. They, you know, really good, actually. Doesn't yeah. sound good, but it is. It's a kind of Nick Hornby type, you know, that type of movie, kind of <laughs> um, a bit darker than that, but, but you know. Oh, like High Fidelity? Yeah, yeah, kind of. Um, or... A darker not, version of. I really don't like Nick Hornby movies. <laughs> I've not seen any of them. <laughs> as soon as I see them, I'm like, mm-hmm. really? I've read yeah. a few of his books. Yeah, I've heard that. I've heard they're really good. Like High Fidelity. You, you wouldn't like it. You probably wouldn't like it. You've no, got a heart on your spine. No, that's true. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you heartless bastard. <laughs> uh, that's why I don't like. That's why I don't like the idea of Huey Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a good fun romp. No, it isn't. <laughs> No, <laughs> that is actually it is. It's not bad. Um, I, I think I'll, I think I'm we'll watching this Halloween. Yeah. Um, Next when I up to to Halloween, I tried to or we tried to cram in a few kind of scaries, which <laughs> didn't go well. We did a back to back kind of movie. Uh, one was called Would You Rather from 2011, or it's quite an old film. Was the was the phrase used? Would you rather watch this or something else? It's like, would you rather stab your your uh, person sitting beside you in the leg, or would you rather, you know, no. stab somebody else in the leg? You know, it's like it's pretty kind of gross. It's, it's the guy from Reanimator that's in it. I can't remember his act, the actor's name, but it's been in loads of things. Um, it was a bit gross. Mm. Kind of like a cross between Saw and um, Final Destination. No, Saw and another movie. It's no, it just didn't work for me. Mm. Too gory than horror. Yeah, I prefer kind of creepy. I must admit. Um, then we watched Inheritance, which is quite new. I think Lily Collins in it. And Simon I've Pegg. heard of it, yeah. Yeah, uh, which is a kind of, as you can describe it as a horror, it's kind of a thriller horror type thing. Mm. Um, a kind of Silence of the lambs type thing, but not <laughs> nowhere near as good. Um, 
where Simon Pegg is playing the baddie, he's playing the kind of Anthony Hopkins type character. Really? Yeah, we long There's straggly hair. It, was, it, it kind of initially I was like, I don't know if I can, I, I don't know if I, this works, but mm. yeah, it's okay. Lily Collins is good in it. Mm. Um, She's good though. She was good in. Um, she, she is good, actually. Frighteningly like wicked, good. evil, vile, uh, dehumanizing, whatever it was called, the the uh, the Zac Efron story. Oh, Ted Bundy. So she was. I forgot she was in that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and she was in the Snow White, wasn't she? Those ones. Uh, the Huntsman one? No, not the Huntsman one. The other one. Aye. Yes, Aye. she was in that uh, one. Yeah. Snow. Uh, yeah, that oh. one with Charlie's Theron. Yeah. I think it was that one because it was two at the same time. I'm not sure which it one. Was the other one was? Oh god, was it? It was, a, it was actually quite a good movie. It was, you know, it wasn't, you know, and the Oscar goes to. It's not going to happen, but um, it was pretty the good. The other one was by that Taj, Tajim guy, Indian guy that does all these phenomenal visual. Things. Oh, the one with Chris Hemsworth. Was that that one? Aye. The Huntsman, I think that was called actually. That the Huntsman. Uh, yeah, I think the other one was this was the the Ice Snow Queen, Queen or something or the or whatever it was called. You should yeah, probably look these things up. Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, yeah it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, it's up. And God, God, I've seen a few here. Uh, Truth Seekers on um, Amazon. Uh, I've been watching Simon, that. Simon Pegg and Nick. Nick Frost. Nick, uh, Frost. It's, it's what they did after uh, Paul. Yes, I have, it? To, uh, I have to say I've been I've been really enjoying it. I uh, me too. Um, I um, think it's really funny. Somebody, disc- somebody said to us that they've been watching it and said it was hilarious, and we're like, well, it's not hilarious, but it it's is not funny. hilarious. It's funny. Uh, Julian Barrett's in it as well. Yeah, he, he is. Uh, Peter uh, in yeah, it. That's the episode uh, we're on actually. Well, we've just finished that episode. He, I, if I couldn't get Julian Barrett, I would get Douglas <laughs> to play that character. What do you think? Because <laughs> there's, there's times in it where he just delivers line and, and that's how Douglas would deliver a line. Mm, mm-hmm. friend. I don't know. Yeah. Friend of the show. Mm-hmm. Um, actual friend of the show. Actual friend of the show. He's been on the show. Oh, um, mm-hmm. uh, I I think it's really good. I, I like the whole premise of it is this, this parapsychologist guy who works for a, a, a broadband company who are rolling out 6G which is kind of funny because it's 5G that's getting rolled out just now um, and they find all these kind of it's it, Anne Marie described it as it's Erie, Indiana um, for adults and I thought mm. yeah, it's a pretty good, pretty good uh, analogy because it's, it's there's a thread through the whole story the thread mm-hmm. through the whole series but it's individual like you see a snippet of what the next story is going to be in the in the current story, but then they move on and do the, the current mm-hmm. story. So it's almost like an AB story set up. Yeah. But they I do it that. a nice way where it's going to be to the next one. Yeah. I prefer um, that. Because you don't notice that it's separate stories, even though it is. Yes. Um, uh-huh. Or you do, but you know what I mean? It's, it's, yeah. it's less, of, less obvious. Yeah. Um, yeah, the, the B story, the B story, in the B story in episode one sets up the A story in episode two. That kind of yeah. thing. It does this kind of leapfrog thing. Um, and then the, the Malcolm thing that Malcolm in it as well. Well. I'm watched it all. I've, I've, no, no, I've not watched it all either. All right, haven't you? Okay, I've got one episode. I'm, two, only, I think. I'm only episode four. Oh right! Oh right! Oh. No, I just mean that. I'm imagining the thing that happens to Malcolm Medell in episode four. Mm-hmm. Will carry on in effect. What's happening? In the next, but don't tell me. You're further than me. All right. We'll probably blast a couple of those episodes tonight. Actually. Yeah. Well, they're only like 22 minutes long. They're not long. Yeah, they're not long at all. But, um, which is good. Amazon Prime. Uh, yeah, Malcolm McDowell's great in it. Um, yeah, he's always good. Though. I mean, yeah. He's one of yeah. Actors. yeah. Malcolm McDowell's great actor, but yeah, he's he's great in in that role. He plays the mm. kind of crotchety old guy. Yeah, uh, and the, 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 the woman from um, oh god, smile. What's it called? I, think it um, I, I haven't seen Elton John before. I don't know. If, I don't know if he's like a huge big star in the UK or not. That's but I've not seen him before. No, I've not seen him. Uh, it's quite a funny thing that that's what his name is, isn't it? Yeah, I think. 
pretty funny. Um, um same. Uh, yeah, Susan Wakoma. Wakoma. Um, she the sister. Yeah, Helen. Uh, Helen. Yeah, Helen. She plays Helen, who um, Malcolm McDowell has think. got an affinity with. I don't think he, I don't think he fancies her, but I think he's got an affinity with her because. Uh, yeah, well, it's it's kind of like Crazy uh, Head. That was it. That was the other thing on Netflix that she's been on, Crazy Head. But it's like where she plays this kind she, of like Buffy the Vampire Slayer type character. Oh, yeah. It's it's a good show. If you want to check that out, it's it's good as well. But uh, but it's like Nick Park, Nick, not Nick Park, Nick Frost. Frost has got the dad who stays at home and all you know all the time, and mm -hmm. the Elton John character uh, has got the sister that stays at home yes. all the time, uh -huh. and they've got that kind of link between the two of them. Yes, uh -huh. you know? uh, Simon Pegg's in it as well. Hi, he plays the, the kind of uh, Charlie, <laughs> Charlie character. Yeah, Charlie send him out for jobs. Out yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, he's, he's yeah. quite, he's not in it much, but he's funny when he's, he's you know, it's the phone thing and all that. I yeah, think. and same with uh, Bjorn as well. Have you met, have you met Bjorn? I think it's only in two episodes. He says, oh, I'm breaking a new, I'm yeah. breaking a new assistant as well. His name is Bjorn. Uh, yeah. He's funny because there's, there's a bit in it where he, um, he says some Bjorn says something and he adds a swear word at the end of it, and he says, "Bjorn, can we can we not swear at the end? You know, because it's you know it's very unbecoming. It's it's a professional environment." He goes, oh, "Yeah, sorry, no problem," and he immediately swears again, <laughs> and he just goes, <sighs> "No, it's, it's really good. It's great. I like it. I like it. Yeah." And there's a, there's a the guest stars in it are really good as well. Um, Aye, so. yeah. Yeah, yeah um, Patricia Blake. She plays um she plays the first one with the, the dog. The the old woman at Crowley Head, I think it's called, or Crouchley Head or whatever it's called. I think it's called the, the Haunting of Crouchley Head is the first episode. Yeah. And they go and visit her and they they, they exercise this dog. Yeah. And she okay, and, and it's 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 uh, been uh, reanimated. Yeah. Aye. Yeah. That's that's yeah. great. Yeah. Yeah. Um no, that's really good. It's really like it. Yeah. Um I'm glad as well because I thought, oh god, if it's the two of them and I, you know because the, the world's end wasn't great. It was okay, but it wasn't great. Well to be fair, I mean the last time the two of them worked together on a on a script creating something was Paul. Mm -hmm. So that was good. Oh, and it's good, it has that kind of similar vibe to it as well, I think. Uh -huh. um, mostly because they're driving a big van for a start. Yeah. Paul, um, I, mean, I, was, I was kind of swithering for that yeah. show, Danny, Paul. Is it, uh, is it rude? Is it too rude? There's a bit in it where uh, Kristen Wiig uh, breaks free from her uh, shackles as a, as a sort of born-again Christian-y type uh, person and has a bit of a... Mm. Uh, sweary episode, and there's a bit of swearing in the rest of it, but yeah, it's pretty good. A wee bit, a wee bit of swearing is okay. Did I tell you that we, we, uh, we did a, the the last time uh, we were in the last time, um, the last time we were in Vegas for, for a person who doesn't like Las Vegas and doesn't gamble, I've sure been to it a lot. The last time we was in Vegas, we decided we wanted to get out of the city and we, we hired a car and we drove to the Valley of Fire. Uh -huh. One day, and then the next day, uh, we drove uh, up the the uh, extraterrestrial highway to, and we got into the little alien. Oh yeah, that was awesome. Yeah, which is where you Paul is. Yeah, yeah. Cool. So it's nothing like it inside. And Jane Lynch was not serving behind the bar. No. Got it. Go, go figure. Uh -huh. Um, three seekers. And finally, oh no, not finally, two to go. Sorry, it's been two weeks. So. Uh, witches, new new witches with uh, by Robert Zemeckis. Oh yeah, watch that. Is that straight um, to straight to streaming? Yep. Uh, it was one? supposed to come out in the cinema, but it went straight to HBO. But we can get oh, it right, here right. through Sky okay. Cinema and Amazon Prime. Right. Fifteen ninety nine, Amazon Prime. Is it? Mm. 
you don't make money back for don't they? Yeah, I suppose, yeah. Um, I feel sorry for the you know for these you know who spent a lot of money making these things and they're probably not yeah. going to get a lot back. Yeah. Um, uh, it's actually it was actually a really good uh, remake. Um, it's set in America and kind of Louisiana. Uh, it's a um, um, <laughs> it's a uh, memorable. Different. It's different. <laughs> Okay, it's different in in that sense, but um, I don't remember other than which that, is it's exactly called? the same. Which is was the one with Michelle Pfeiffer, or is this the new one with Michelle Pfeiffer? I can't remember. No, the old one was Angelica Houston. Oh right, okay. You're, you're thinking remember. of which is a which is a Beastwick. Yes, I am. That's the Roald Dahl thing, but other than it being being set oh, right. in Louisiana, it's it's uh, you know in the hotel and the uh, yeah. I read that to Sam when she was a kid. Hi, Rune. Have you not yeah. seen the film? No. No. What? How can no. you have a child and not have seen that film? Uh, same reason I have children and they won't refuse point blank to watch the OG Willy Wonka. The they only watch the yeah, they only watch the Johnny Depp one. What? Don't get me started. <sighs> Just breathe, breathe. I know. Um, yeah, but other than other than the fact it's set in Louisiana and, and, uh, and stuff like that, uh, it's the exact same. Mm. Um, but the the I think the the witch in the hotel they have a, a big witch conference, right? That mm. happens to be in a hotel that these yeah. the kid and his grandmother are staying in, and uh, the witch this time, the Angelica Houston, uh, played. Is uh, oh god, what's her name? It was in Catwoman in the Last Batman. Anne Hathaway. Uh, Anne Hathaway. She plays her. She plays her. I, I don't like her actually. That's, that's quite a link between the Witches of Eastwick and, and that because Michelle Pfeiffer was in that, and then. Oh, no, of course, that's that? true. Yeah, and she played Catwoman, and then Anne Hathaway played Catwoman as well. Yeah. And is that why I'm getting mixed well. up? Yeah. In a different film. But anyway, yeah. yeah. They both play witches. Anyway. Um, tenuous link, anyone? Tenuous very link? Very tenuous. Very tenuous. I would say. And yeah, that was good. Enjoyed it. Good. Watched it on Halloween. So that was a, a good one for Saturday. Um, yeah. And then, of Did course. You watch any the, uh, Star Wars stuff? The uh, last but not least. The icing so on the cake least. was uh, Mandalorian. Was that started back? Yeah, right. <laughs> I watched it. You mean the Baby Yoda show? I watched it in the morning. No, not at all. By the way, we were but, trying to come up with you... a name for the, the show. We can't call it Mando Monday because that's already been taken by Star Wars. <laughs> Yeah, but we're not having a Monday anyway. No, I know, but I'm just saying that we can call it Mando Monday. Have you got titles for it yet? No. What we're going to what we're going to do is I might, uh, I might do like a kind of stick thing, like oh, Gur that'd Arg. Awesome. That'd be cool. <clears throat> um, what we're going to do is do a special show every special Thursday. Is it Thursday or Wednesday? I think it's every Thursday. So we'll do it live. We're doing it live. So we'll do it live on Thursdays. Uh, so it'll be, up, watch it'll be up on Thursday, but it'll be a watch along, yeah. Um, but it'll just be up. I'm not going to cut it into anything. It's just going to be that show. What it is. So it's, yeah, if absolutely. It's, if it's half an hour, it's half an hour. If it's an hour, it's an hour. So it's however yeah, long. Be... But we still need to work out the kind of technical. I mean, it shouldn't be too bad, but we'll try and figure out the, the sort of technical intricacies of, of trying to get that group watch along thing. Uh, Sam and I tried it uh, again because now the UK has got that group watch. Uh, and we tried it with uh, Forky asks a question, and it worked. Well, while she was in the UK. While she was in the UK, yeah, and it worked. Oh well, it will work then. So I think it will work for us. So, uh-huh. um, so the bit that was saying was, there's a. Uh, 
if you haven't watched the Mandalorian show, fast forward like five minutes. Um, but there's a bit in it where Mando hits the other guy's rocket pack and he zooms off. And it must be a defect in the Mandalorian rocket packs because the same yeah. thing happens to Boba Fett in the mm -hmm. Sarlacc pit. That's how he ends up in the Sarlacc pit, is he gets nudged. It's a bit of a defect, isn't it? Yeah, there's a number of um, things like that in, in the Mando. A number of Easter eggs in that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. At the beginning as well, when he, when he uh, fires out his uh, grapple, Hook mm -hmm. is like the bit in the Attack of the Clones, you know, when he's fighting Obi Wan. Right. He does that, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. Well, he does that at the start of the first episode as well. He well, does it in Return of the Jedi as well. Yeah, does a lot. Yeah. Um, and Boba Fett does it rather. Boba Fett say. does it, yeah. Um, and Django, Django Fett does it. Yes, Django Fett does it. Yeah. Um, the uh, John Leguizamo was the 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 one eyed Cyclops guy. Hmm. Um, I was told it was it was John Favreau, and I'm like, that doesn't sound like John Somebody Favreau. Said, and I saw, yeah. saw the credits, and it was John Leguizamo, and I was like, oh, yeah, a, lot of, a lot of people assumed it was John Favreau, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, uh, and it is not. Uh, that was a good bit as well, where he just turns around and goes, Poom! shoots the light out. Yeah. Leaves him. And then all know, these red-eyed things start to yeah. troll to him. Yeah, it? yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because yeah. you saw them at the start, and Yoda was like, Mm. Baby Yoda was like, mm. yeah. uh, a lot more yeah. Baby Yoda in this episode. Did I think they kind of thought, the I cute. Think, I didn't think there was. I thought they didn't go for really? that at all. Aye, I thought there was. No, it's not uh, quite Baby a bit. Yoda heavy episodes at all. Mm -hmm. I don't think. I mean, it wasn't um, concentrated on him, but yeah, there was a few bits where he was like peeking around corners and stuff. There's a lot of cutaway uh, scenes to him. When I first started watching it, I was getting vibes of, oh no, they're retreading their footsteps here. Mm. You know, going back to Tatooine. Well, I thought I've seen the, I've seen the man, uh, the the Gamorrean guard bit in the trailers, mm. and I thought I've seen him go to Tatooine. Yeah. Um, and I've seen that women in the you know terrible actress woman whoever she is. Is she a comedian or something? The whoever she the Dokken Bay thirty five. Most most easily. I think she's great. Do you? I don't yeah. like that. She's she's um she's a rip off uh, Ripley. No, she's not. She is. Anyway, she because she's got the same wig and she's got almost the same outfit as Ripley in, in Aliens. I'm a, anyway, then they did the the goofy. Uh, the goofy droids that are, you know, the mechanic yep. droid that are kind of yeah. shoving, yeah, all that. Uh -huh. and I thought, oh god, here we go. This is going to be crap. <laughs> so far, the good morning guard that was okay, but I thought, oh god, yeah. this is going to be crap. But boy, did they turn it around, man. Yeah, really big time. I was like, see, once they got to the the town and stuff. And, I yeah, like, I mean that was that was like you know in. spaghetti western, like going through the town on the horseback slowly. Oh, Everybody's yeah. looking at you. Yeah, um, I was if I was saying that to somebody as well, I said, hey, he said, "Oh, I haven't watched Star Wars in years." I said, "Well, look, do you like spaghetti westerns?" He said, "Oh yeah, I love spaghetti westerns." You should watch Mandalorian then, because it's mm. it's more spaghetti western than than anything else. I think. Um, well, that episode was heavy, heavy. Yeah. yeah, but I mean they, they have other ones as well. Like you know, the 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 sanctuary episode is basically the the um, you know Seven save samurai. the mission type thing. Oh uh, yeah, the, yeah, exactly. Yeah, the the samurai uh, one, um, and so they've done episodes that are very similar to spaghetti westerns. So, uh -huh. yeah. but um, yeah, uh, uh, and see by the end, which we we'll, we will spoil on Thursday, but mm -hmm. by the end I was like. I could, I could almost feel. I could. I was like totally. Like, the hackles. In my, I was like excited. Like yeah. Totally, he was in the back totally, of your neck. I was like, actually yeah. buzzing. Yeah. That set me up for the afternoon. I watched yeah. it in the morning on the train, but I hadn't watched the last fifteen minutes. I watched the last because I brought my tablet with me. So I right. Watch it. I downloaded yeah. it here, and then uh, 
love Disney Plus, and then <laughs> I uh, watched the first load of it in the last 15 minutes of my work at lunchtime, uh-huh. and I was like pure, it was, in a, it was obviously Friday, and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> nothing's going to bring me down. But, um, yeah, You're like really, alpha bound, defying gravity. Really, the whole, and it, the, I think the epic factor of it as well was just. There was a lot of great wow. epic, wow. you know, movie style shots. And did you know uh, the aspect ratio, ratio changing? I know a lot of folk have been talking about this. Oh, I didn't know. Did you know that? It opens no. completely up like IMAX. Uh-huh. See when the monster can, like, properly comes out, uh-huh. the, 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 the black bars disappear. Oh, really? Again. Yep. Uh-huh. So it goes full yeah. frame for the whole, for that sequence? Aye. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. Okay. That's yeah. interesting. Because I, I noticed it kind of went, it felt more cinematic. Um, when there was, they were doing the bit where he was going across the, 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 the speeder bike and he was going across the Dune Sea, which is another mm-hmm. reference. Um, and he's heading across that and it just pans out and it's just this massive just bit of land that he's on. He's like, mm-hmm. Yeah. That was great as well. The old, Actually, the came over the, the when he came over the Dune as well. That was really cool as well. He kind of comes over the yeah. Dune that follows yeah. the, the, uh, the contour of the land. Oh. So good. Um, but when they're, they're battling the worm and and uh, and, and um, it goes back into the cave and then they're like, we need to get it out. Mm-hmm. It's, it's eating a eating a sarlacc. Yeah, it? yeah. It's a sarlacc it's, pit that it's in. Uh huh. Uh huh. So it's like getting back in and then they they boost up their rocket packs mm-hmm. and yeah up against it and all that. Yeah. I was like, yeah. <laughs> so the character that uh, Timothy oh, Oliphant plays, uh, yeah. or Oliphant, depending on how you pronounce his name, uh, he's actually in, in the books. And this is another example mm-hmm. of Mandalorian taking stuff that's legend over, yeah. and, and making it canon, mm-hmm. which is interesting. Why yeah. Not, you know, Why not would... take those things? So all that really? background story where he was talking about, you know, the, the Empire falling and the imps were running yeah. and all that kind of stuff, uh-huh. that was all in the books. Uh, and I'll they're bringing that, that in there. And that, that for me, that that's better. Like, we've been in this argument before about, about uh, Solo, a Star Wars movie. Um, the bit where, uh, if you haven't seen it, come on, uh, come, come on see it. Um, Darth Maul appears. Everybody's like, "What the? F- mm-hmm. Where's this guy come from? He's dead." I saw him being cut in two, and it's like, "Oh well, actually, if you'd watch this other fifteen mm. things, it's like, yeah. just can we just do this thing with a was... introduce these things in yeah, prior don't not movies, it. yeah, yeah, or don't don't assume we've w- read a comic from nineteen ninety eight or whatever, yeah, yeah." Uh, I thought it was a great episode. Episode nine uh, was a great opener for the season. Um, it's it's amazing. It what's what was good for me though that I liked about it was there was a lot of shots that were in the trailer that were in that episode, which means there's a ton of stuff we haven't seen yet. Never seen, I know. So that's that's good. I know. And I mean, there's, 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 there's a bit where they. Uh, the sorry. speeder, speeder. Sorry, the 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 speeders go and it looks like Navarro, because that's the volcano planet. But somebody's also mentioned it could be Mustafar, but I'm like, nah, it feels more like Navarro because it was more kind of rocky. Yeah, it feels more kind of rocky, which is um, Navarro is more rocky than than uh, Mustafar. But mm-hmm. uh, anyway, I'm excited. Um, it was a great season opener. Yeah, and and the. The ending, what does that mean for the next episodes? Wow. So, uh, the other I, thing I was... I, I just don't want to be hyped yeah. too much for myself, you know? So, the the bit in the Gunslinger, remember the Gunslinger episode? Mm-hmm. Where he goes to Tatooine and meets the the, the, the uh, rip-off Ripley women. And then he meets the, yes. the other bit, the young bounty hunter. And you hear yes. the spurs of the guy at the end going, ching, ching, yes. ching, ching. What's that? that? That's you the same the noise... Because we're not spoiling anything, remember? Happened? Nothing. I was just paused. You told me to pause. Oh, <laughs> 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 what 
Was that? Cause I, I never moved either. <laughs> like, oh no, we froze. Um, yeah, but we'll get into all spoilers later. We don't want to kind of. But I think you know, we don't right, want to spoil think, the show. <laughs> I think we were, you know, people were trying to kind of. Who is that? You know. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So this week, or this fortnight, anyway. So Mandalorian Truth Seekers, we've, we've talked about. Yeah. Um. I finished the long way down. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. So now I've only got the long way up to go, and now it's episodic. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, now I've got to wait every oh, week. Oh no, really? Do you? Yeah. It's not binge watch stuff. No. No. So in so between it's... you've been, so in between you've been 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 watching the the rest. I've been of watching the other ones, yeah. So now I've got nothing. You've got more bite yet. <laughs> Tempted. I'm not lying. I was looking at one. I bet you were. I was like, oh. I've never wanted a motorbike before. And then I watched this show and I'm like, I want a motorbike now. I want a motorbike. I want a big Harley. Actually, I, I really like that live wire. Mm. It's a nice bike. I've not watched the new one. It's really good. But it's on Apple Plus, so it's going to be another five for a month for you if you want to watch it. No, no. no. We'll get it. Um, we'll I did watch a bit of um, Letter to You. Um, which is the Bruce Springsteen documentary, oh, uh, yeah. which is also on Apple Plus. Um, I mean, I I like Bruce Springsteen stuff. Uh, I like the songs. Is that something he narrates? Mm. Yeah, and he reads it. He reads it very similar. Very similarly. Oh, that's good English. Uh, he reads it in a similar way to the way that he. Um, he reads his autobiography, which, by the way, if you have if you have yet to to read Bruce's autobiography, I suggest you get it in an audiobook because he he has a beautiful turn of phrase about him. Like he's a he's a great lyricist, which whatever you think of him. Um, but his written word when he's just writing just normal English, he, he just is this. It's like you can imagine Sam Elliott reading it to you, and you'd just be like this. Oh really? Because um, just Sam Elliott's just got this kind of like velvety voice, uh, but Bruce has got this kind of like hard edge voice. But it, but it's the it, the the words that he uses are like no one talks like that. I don't know anyone that talks like that. I certainly can't. I can barely string together Obviously. two words. Okay. Um, which is why I became a podcaster. Um, <laughs> so, so yes, yeah, so I'm I'm out of that. Uh, so I've got I've got to wait. Every every Friday, no. So it's the Post, same as the Mandalorian. Problems. I know. Ding hashtag. So I've got Mandalorian and Long Way Up to look forward to. And last week's episode of Long Way Up was a real tearjerker as well, because he talks about his adopted daughter and how the circumstances of how he, he came to adopt her, and it's like this is where grown men cry. It's just it's heartbreaking stuff. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's beautiful. Anyway, um, we watched uh, the Lady Vanishes as well. The Tuppence Hate Me. I don't know. She is. I, I assume she's a famous actress in, in the UK. Tuppence Middleton. Tuppence, Tuppence Middleton. I think her name is. I don't know. She seems famous for things. Uh, it's from 2013. Uh, it's a retelling of of the Lady Vanishes. Um, the Hitchcock thing. Yes, is it, Hitch- is it Hitchcock? It's Hitchcock directed the the first version of it. The one I remember though is the Elliot Gould Sybil Shepherd one uh, oh, yeah. from the nineteen seventies. Mm-hmm. I prefer the Sybil Shepherd Elliot Gould one, but this was okay. It wasn't great, but it was okay. Did it need to be remade? Go watch the Civil Shepherd. I remember we we watched that and we watched the Thirty Nine Steps. Remember that as well. That's a great, great great movie. Yeah, the as well. That was another uh, Hitchcock one. In fact, was Thirty Nine Steps not Hitchcock's first movie? I'm gonna look it up. Do do you not think it's Thirty Nine Steps a wee bit similar to North by Northwest? Yeah. Yeah, very similar. Chase down. Yep, spy stuff. Mm-hmm. James Mason's in it. No, he's not. But he could have been. He is. Is he? He's in um, North by Northwest. 
Yeah, he's in North by North, but I don't think he's in um, 39 Steps, though. No. Good evening. Um, no, it was but like his 1500th movie. When you watch North by Northwest, you're like, my God, two of the most iconic voices ever. Cary yeah. Grant and uh, James Mason yeah. together in the room. I know. Like, I know. Yes. Yes, it's great. If you wouldn't mind, old chap, putting putting that gun over there, that'd be great. Yes, that I'd like to do that, but um, I don't know if I can. I'll tell you something Cary else. Grant I was bored. You still think Cary Grant was was English? He is. He, speak. he is English. He was born in Bristol. His his uh, real name is Archie Leach, which is also oh. the name of the character's name. Uh, in A Fish Called Wonder, played by uh, John Cleese. Fact. That's our one fact we're allowed per episode. Thank you very much. Wow. In fact, there was two facts what? in there. There you go. Brilliant. Carl Sagan. We need the Carl Sagan gift code when we do a fact. Yeah. Oh, I've dropped my earpiece. Special effects. Um, so after Lady Vanishes, we needed a bit of a bit of a palate cleanser, so to speak. A bit of a palate cleanser. So we watched Baywatch. <laughs> See Baywatch, that you. is the closest that is the closest you'll get to a carry on movie in the two yeah. thousands. Yeah. Well, you know. It's because the same stuff is just so wrong. It's yeah, uh, Zach Efron, uh, Alexander Daddario, um, some big tall guy, Dwayne, some rather, he's in it. Um, it's hilarious. It's one of the funniest movies. I don't it's know what it says about really it. I, I enjoyed it. <laughs> I don't know what that says about it. I know, I don't know, I don't know. People will be switching uh, off in their droves. I know. All, all five Next of thing they'll be talking about. Movie 43, saying it's a masterpiece. Should have won an Oscar. No. No, movie 43 is awful. Although there is one scene in there which I find hilarious, but anyway. The Room. <clears throat> room for room 101. The, the Room. The Room. The Room. The Room. Uh, so uh, I'd never seen Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift, so we we'll watched that as well. Um and just to, to round that off, we had to then watch Fast and Furious 7, which is the movie that you should watch chronologically after that. Um, you need to message me because I'm going to sit down with Danny and watch the, those all movies. All of them. Uh -huh. You, you watch, watch it in them? sequence. It's there easy. You... Oh, yeah, you need to know the, number, the, the name. Okay, I'll do that. Um, or should I just watch them the way it is? I mean, you could watch them, them in... Least. You can watch them by release date, but I would I would suggest the Fast and the Furious, and then Fast and Furious, two or say Too Fast, Too Furious, then Fast and Furious, I think it's Jesus. called. I know, so and then Xbox, and then Fast I think Five. Had this I know, uh, then Fast Five, then Fast Six, then Fast Seven, Fate of the Furious, and then F Nine, which comes out next year. Okay. Which should have been out this year, uh, but anyway. Space. So we watched Tokyo Drift, which is uh, it's okay. It's not. It, it, you don't need to watch. To be honest, if you don't if you don't watch Tokyo Drift, you're not really missing out on anything. Um, although it's probably a good idea that you do watch it, just because it, it it fills a gap between six and seven. Uh, it fills that like what happened between six and seven. So maybe you do need to watch it. Uh, in fact, yeah, you do need to watch it. Yeah, you need to watch it, but you need to watch it in that order. It's got to be Fast and Furious 6. Tokyo, I'll, I'll send you the link. Uh, yes, and then for Halloween, Halloween, uh, we watched a scary movie. Are you not proud of me that we watched a scary um, movie? Um, but not until I hear what it is. <clears throat> Wanted Mansion. Eddie Murphy? Yeah. It's not a scary movie. Based on the Disney ride, I was terrified. I was watching it through my fingers like that. Like that. Ooh, ooh! That was the noises I was making. What? It's good. 
we it's watched good. that not, not that long ago. It's a fun movie for all the family. I thought you were going to say Hocus Pocus. No, Annemie watched that without me, bizarrely enough. I don't know why, but she watched it without me. That was the number one movie, Boxing, that knocked uh, no, Tenet no. off the top spot. That's right. Mm-hmm. Yep. 27 year old movie. Haven't you? No, I think we'll, not... we'll probably watch it. Um... It's not the best Halloween movie. I'm telling you that right now. Depends what age you are, though, I suppose. Um, I suppose, yeah. yeah. I mean, people people think of it, like people in North America think of it as a classic Halloween movie. Like they grew up mm-hmm. with it. So, yeah, yeah. I mean, maybe it's, maybe it's not too bad. Haunted Mansion's okay, but it's not a, mm-hmm. it's not a, it's not a horror film. Fun. No, I didn't say it was a horror film. I said it was a scary movie. For those listening, we're just shaking our heads and nodding. That's right, yeah. Just shaking and nodding. Shaking and nodding. Um, so, yeah, that's it. That's um, that's what I watched in the last couple of weeks, which is not a lot because I was, I was kind of busy at work and stuff. So. And I was out as well. I was I was, I was was on vacation. I went to Niagara Falls. That's where you live? Uh-huh. You can go on vacation to your hometown. It's fine. So we stayed at, we stayed at a hotel. Down the front? We, yeah, we stayed, yeah, we stayed somewhere. Yeah, we stayed somewhere. Oh, did you? Yeah. We, uh, We've done that we, in true next. You know, shut up there. <laughs> <laughs> what yeah, are you we were getting married at the time, right enough. Aye, uh, true enough, yeah. We did that in Glasgow. No, we did we did in Glasgow. No, we didn't, no. We just went back home after the wedding ceremony. Um, yeah, we we uh we and we found a group on for um for a cheap hotel room. So it was basically it was like it was the four points by Sheraton. So it's a Sheraton. It's quite nice yeah. doing something like that, isn't it? Yeah. You no. Know. Change of scenery. So yeah, what we did was we we uh we rented the room, you know, well uh-huh. you know, three nights, whatever it was. Uh, it was like fifty yeah. bucks a night, which is less than a motel. Uh-huh. I mean, a motel's like 60, 70 bucks a night. Uh, actually, probably about 80 bucks a night. So it was the 50 bucks a night. Um, yep. And we did the tourist things. We did uh, we did a wine tasting. Uh, we did two wine tastings, in fact. So the first morning, uh, we got up and we went to um, Between the Lines, which, of course, I'm like, go on, because it reminded me of the, the song from Duke. Um mm-hmm. And behind the lines. I was behind the lines, but it was between the lines. I was like, ah, that's cool. So we went there and we had a charcuterie board and they were doing wine Lovely. pairings between the, the bits of cheese and the bits of meat. Lovely. And it was it was interesting. And then um we went for a bite to eat. Uh and then we we, we went to another winery, which is the Lake View winery. Uh they do 20 Bs, they do Dan Aykroyd wine as well. Um cool. not just vodka. Uh, yeah, he doesn't just do vodka, he does the wine as well, crystal which is... Skull. Is it Crystal like, Skull? Uh, he does Crystal Skull vodka, yeah. So the little known fact is that I think it's like 99% of all wine sold in Ontario stays in Ontario. Oh. And they make quite a bit of wine. So um, we went to there and they did a, a wine pairing between Halloween candy and wine. So it was like Kit Kats and popcorn and and Skittles and stuff like. That. It was it was really interesting, and it was it was amazing because there was there was a couple of wines where I'm like I don't really like this, and then it was like take a couple of Skittles and now try the wine. It's like take them. Um, okay. I like say, t- take a few more sips and then you start liking it. Oh wow! Well, I was driving, so I only had a couple of sips of these things, um, but it was good. It was uh, it was it was it was fun. And then, that's the um, thing, though. That's the thing, though. But you know, when you stay, you have to drive everywhere. You yeah, just get a uh-huh. bus or whatever. Yeah. Well, the second day we walked, um, we walked to uh, Clifton Hill from the hotel. So uh, the tourist area. So there's there's a couple of different areas in Niagara Falls. There's, there's the the tourist district, which is where all the hotels are, and then there's Clifton Hill, which is that one road that's Blackpool. Um, so we yeah. walked there, which is, takes about 20 minutes. Um, and we did the adventure golf. We did the zombie attack thing. Then we walked down to the front. Um, and we we saw the falls during the day. We got a nice picture of the rainbow bridge with a rainbow on it, which is really cool. 
Uh, and then we walked back to Clifton Hill from from there and had a spot to, to eat. And then we went back oh. to the hotel room and then uh, potted about there for a bit. Um, I I drove home that night to take the bins take out. The no, to put the bins out. And then I drove back to the hotel and we went for a swim in the hotel. Uh, but, I mean, all of this stuff's happening during, like, a, a like global That's pandemic. Cool. Do you know it's what? Weird. It's it's nice to do that kind of thing, you know. Mm. You've been stuck in your house for the past God knows how long. Exactly, yeah. So I mean, yeah, we had, I mean, we had, we had like, you know, I mean, how many days vacation? How many days holiday do you get a year? How many weeks? 20, 23? Well, 23 days, but we, we get, like, bank holidays and stuff. As yeah, well. so it's like 30 or whatever. Christmas. Yeah. No. Oh, the work pays yeah. for two weeks off? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we wow. get, like, 10, pretty much two weeks. So I... Yeah. Uh, but 23 until, that we can pick. No. Yeah, up until this year, I got 15 days vacation. And because yeah. I've served two years uh, where I am, I get uh, 20 days. Which is quite generous for North America. Normally, you get like you know two weeks, and that's it. So uh, I'm glad that our company's like you know everyone needs a break from their work. I mean, it doesn't matter how much you love your work; you need, you need a break. Especially um, this, this going on. Um, absolutely, yeah, and and it's one of the things that we we encourage it at uh, where I work is that they they want you to take breaks, even though you're not going anywhere. It's like don't like take a break and just have a day off work. Uh -huh. You don't need to be, you don't need to come down into, you know, your room and and, and, and like work. You can go do something else. Paint. Uh, I have been, mm. I have been painting actually. I've started a, a, a bit of a lull. I wasn't having a dig. I was having a dig. I was saying that that's what I'm saying is that that's what you need to do is you need to take that kind of, you know, day to recover, um, that kind of, no. you know, Mental health day or whatever. No, um, totally. Uh, oh no, very much so. I actually get taken five. I get uh, five and a half days taken off me. Did you? Um, because I was furloughed. Really? Five and a half days off me. Yep. So I've got half a day left to take now. What? Yeah, I know. Through no that fault of my own. Sucks. Yeah. Uh, although, I mean, you know. I wasn't working for three months, so yeah, I, you know, I can't really complain. <laughs> yeah, you know, but still, no, you're like, no, no. Yeah. So I've got half a day left to take. I don't know what I'll do with it. Take it in the day before you go on Christmas holidays. Then that way you only need to come in for half a day. When is Christmas though this year? <clears throat> I don't know. Uh, it's a Friday. Because we finish here on a, early on a Friday anyway. Right. I hate taking half day on a Friday. Mm -hmm. Bummer. Well, you take a half day on Friday and then you come in. Oh, actually, it's on Christmas. So the, the Christmas Eve will be the Thursday. Yeah. Right. Well, hopefully the news will bring happier stories. No, it won't. Oh, what a shame. Why? Sean Connery passed away. Oh, God, no, don't tell me that. As if 2020 the most couldn't famous Rochambeau story. was any more, <clears throat> the legend. once more into the, the old... Mm. Probably the man, the, the myth, the milky the legend. From, uh, yeah. from Edinburgh. Yeah, what a ledge. <laughs> what a leg end. He's not my favourite Bond. No, I'm only kidding. I thought I thought Sean Connery was awesome. Well, it wasn't our Bond, was he? But it, I think it he probably Bond. was the. He's the OG Bond. Yeah. I mean, he gets credit for making. I mean, he created the character. Um, yeah. And... I think I think when you look back on him, you're like, that was what Bond was meant to be like. And yeah. Roger supposed Moore, to be this tall, tall, dark, sophisticated Scottish guy, um, and then and then they got an Australian in. An Englishman, a Welsh guy, an Irishman, and an Englishman again. I think that's all the bonds, isn't it? <laughs> I think you've covered it. I think I've done it. Um, so they got uh, it right the first one, and then they just uh, 
I mean, I it, Daniel good. Craig, I, I it, 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 it goes back to Skyfall, and it's it's you know in the middle of um, Glencoe, his family is a, a his ancestral seat. See the, bond. see the double o, see the double o seven thing though. It's not the same person though, is it? I don't know. Although it must be because it's the same same villains and yeah. Skyfall have Blofeld and mm-hmm. um. Well, I mean, it's it, the Bond ancestral home is in Scotland. Mm-hmm. So, so that is the so that is the same character. It's not like a Doctor Who where it's a different a different I, person who is 007. I don't think he's and, yeah. I I don't think he's related to um um what's his name, uh, Bruce Abbott's Basildon Bond. I think that's that's a completely different character. Well, he was just selling tea, was he not? Yes, he was. Yes, and Johnny English, he just he just sold Bartley cards. He also sold Jaffa cakes. No, nice you think the right Bond? But yeah, uh, Sean Connery um, uh, died at ninety. Ambassador for Scotland, um, despite the fact not living in Scotland for <clears throat> several years. Um, he was a great act. I mean, he, you know, he was. <laughs> He was a great actor in that he was a movie star. Oh, uh, the same, the same way that yeah. Michael Caine is a great actor because he's a movie star. Yeah, um, I think there's a few films that he's, he's not. He doesn't play that Sean Connery. I can't. Remember, I'm, I'm not sure what they are. I don't think I've seen them. But I've heard there are movies out there that he plays a different type of. I can't Sean think of Connery. anything. I mean, he plays, he plays a kind of sneaky but spy guy in The Rock. He plays a sneaky <laughs> spy guy in, in um, uh, Rising Sun. He plays a sneaky uh-huh. spy guy in Hunt for Red October slash Admiral Dude. Yeah, know. but he's... Uh, well, he, 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 Time Bandit seems a little bit different, I suppose. Yeah. Um, he played Agamemnon or whatever his name was. But he, he certainly stamped his name in everything he did. Oh, God, yeah. Um, yeah. You know, uh, saw Henry Jones like, oh. as well. Oh God, man! That's, he's he's, he's uh, Indiana Jones' his dad. Arguably the best uh, Indiana Jones movie. Uh, yeah, I was. I, you know, I was watching. Yeah. Um, I was watching uh, Ben Heck, who's about the same age as us, and he was saying that uh, the for some reason that his family wanted to, his family were over and they wanted to watch Temple of Doom. He said, mm. "I don't know what it is, but people seem to think this is the best Indiana Jones movie. They're That's wrong, <laughs> but when people. You're, when think... you're... That's what he said. He said they're wrong, but people seem to think that. I don't. When you're twelve, it is. Uh, I mean, it was it was good that it was an, it was good there was another Indiana Jones movie. Although it's the darkest of the lot, isn't it? Yeah, the whole kid not, slavery you know, thing. It's not actually a, you know." You know, I'm saying when you're 12, but yeah, it's not an um, uplifting. Well, I suppose the end. The is. whole Om Nam Shamai thing, you know, is ripping yeah. hearts out ripping of people. Hearts out uh, what do you call them? Mula Ram, Mula Ram, Mula Ram, that guy. Uh huh. Om Shamai. The M Dog Chase friends. Yeah. Old Mula. Um, not as good as Indiana Jones. In the Last Crusade, which uh, he he beats the the plane with the seagulls, and then quotes Alexander oh, the Great or, or so Charlemagne. Good, man. Um, so good. Teach them ancient Greek, and mm-hmm. just all this kind of stuff. Just it, he had an iconic voice as well that mm-hmm. a million people have have tried to emulate or tried to impersonate. I should say not emulate. Um, Remember Zardoz. I, I did, yeah. I watched it. Zardoz. It was on Channel. I remember 4. his costume. I remember his costume as well. His, his red nappy. Uh, yeah, was it Charlotte cool. Rampling? Was in it? Possibly. I think that inspired uh, Borat. He's nice. <laughs> the, the, the costume. I mean, it's nice. It's nice. It's nice. It's nice. <laughs> Borat subsequent <laughs> movie film. Um. Oh, I saw that as well, actually. Oh, uh, did you? Uh, okay. Did you watch it? No. no. I watched the first. Thing. I watched the first. I'm going to say five, 
15, 5, 10 minutes of it. I don't know how long it was. Yeah. It's uh, not good. Uh, it's not It's not as... Like, it's not as surprising. First, it's not as surprising. It's kind of annoying the fact that everyone in America knows him now. So when he's going down the street, they're going, there's Bora! And like chasing yeah. them down the street. And it's like, that's not a setup. That's people just recognizing you. It's like, yeah. Eh, the joke's over now. It's not. Well, I watched a lot. You only watched 15 minutes, but. I did. It's very true. I, I you can't. Probably only need, you it. probably only need to see 15 minutes of it. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. So anyway, Sean Connery, classic yeah. uh, Scottish Legend actor. To one of the... Legend, yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean think it. it Think he, of how many, one of the, how many iconic Scottish actors there are. Well, how many can he you is one, He is one of the most iconic Hollywood legends yeah. that alive this year that's just yeah. died. Yeah. Oh. Who else? I mean, can, uh, who else there's Sean Connery, there? John Gordon Sinclair, Robbie Coltrane, yeah. Ian McGregor. Yeah. Hello there. Um, Alan Cummings. Alan Cummings. The list goes on. Yeah. Uh, we're forgetting someone, actually. Peter. Mullen. Huh? He is a legend, though. He is a legend, yeah. He is God, a legend. Keep him alive. Tupperware. Tupperware him. Aye. Big Tupperware Tupperware him. box. Tommy, uh, uh, Tommy Ball died. I don't know if you know that. Did that travel over to uh, Yes, it did, yeah. Uh, I think yeah. I found it was Bobby Ball, but yeah. Sorry, Tommy Bobby. Can, Bobby Ball. Tommy can. <laughs> All right, Tommy. Rock on, Tommy. Bobby Ball. They were, uh, they were hilarious. I, I really liked Ken. I thought they were brilliant as well. Me too. And they did a film, uh, Boys in Blue, remember? Yep. It was, uh, I, I was talking about it the other day. Well, the week there. It was a remake of the old. Um, remember, we used to watch the black, old black and white movies. Uh, Ask a policeman, or whatever it was. I think it was oh, called it was, Will Hayes. Will Hayes, jeez, yeah. old man, well done. Yeah. So good at uh, remember things. So, like. But I, I'm yeah. sure I was talking about the Boys in Blue when we were doing a top five. Were you? Uh huh. Comedies. I don't know what it was. It may have been the. It may have been the top five scary movies. And I was oh. talking about that, <laughs> but they were they were brilliant together. They were great, yeah. In the eighties, back in the eighties, yeah. you know, it's such a great um, di- di- not dichotomy. That the right word? Uh, dynamic, stuff, you know, a, a dynamic, dynamic, oh. yeah, between the two of them, fantastic. Amy, anyway, um, I'm I'm being told we need to wrap it up. Oh. Must be dinner time. Yes, yeah. Um, Johnny Depp, that was the last one. Johnny Depp has been uh, done for his uh, the wife beater thing. You seen this? <laughs> Do you know I was going to say something there? Yeah. I'm not going to say it. Well, he's lost his libel case. about Yeah, against the son. Uh, yeah. Against the son. He's lost it and he's been branded a wife beater. So what does that mean now for him? Not good, does it? Nobody nope. would really want to associate with a person nope. that has beaten his wife. Yeah. Uh, so, quite, quite downbeat news stories this week. Yeah. yeah. I think in uh, on that terrible disappointment, we'll uh, we'll end. But yeah, that's. Uh, I guess I, I don't know what's going to happen. Twenty twenty getting any better? No, no. It's getting worse. Sean Connery's dead. Now we find out that Johnny Depp beats his wife. As a That's wife beater. Well Jesus. done. Well, I mean, yeah. you know. Thank you, 2020. But anyway. That's 2020 for you folks, in a nutshell. Uh, anyway, if you like this video, uh, don't forget to hit the old subscribe button. It's down there, on the old uh, down there. Uh, and the notification bell as well. You need to hit the notification bell because if you don't hit the notification bell, you don't get notified. And if you don't get notified, you won't find out we're doing another video. And if you like this one, what? 
That was very fast how you said that. Was it? I'm getting, oh. I'm getting. You're getting good. Myself. You're getting good. Uh, and don't forget to smash that like button as well, and share, and share on social media because it really helps the channel out. That'd be great. And uh, yeah, uh, do you have anything talk else? About talk about us. Talk about. Talk about. Don't don't make your ears burn. Um, come on, come on, guys. Do you have any uh, any last words, Jody? Uh, <laughs> Before we put the show up, probably, <laughs> probably not. I need the to- can I go to the toilet? Yes. Thanks. All right. See you all next time. Bye bye. Thanks, everyone. Bye.